The evacuation advisory follows another problem at the power company's nuclear plant on Friday. Tokyo Electric told the government that an emergency cooling system has been activated. We don't have all the information, but every indication is that the type of event that occurred there is one of the most serious things that can happen in a nuclear reactor. Mainly, it lost both off-site uh, power and its on-site emergency backup power systems failed for three of the six reactors at the site. That means that uh, cooling uh, of the radioactive core depended on the uh, existence of a battery, and uh, the battery is depleting. They need to get backup power uh, to restore full cooling in that reactor, or it could potentially lead to a melting of the core. In the worst case, the entire core can melt, and it can melt through the steel reactor vessel and escape into the containment building. And then the containment is the only thing standing between the radiation in, in, in the reactor and the atmosphere. Then it's a, it's a, a dice roll uh, about whether or not the containment will, will maintain its integrity and prevent a large radiological release. But there is a chance, if that does occur, that there will be overpressure, the containment can fail, and you might have a release on the order of the Chernobyl accident. We definitely think that there needs to be more attention paid to nuclear power plant siting. Japan is a very densely populated country with a, a serious uh, seismic problem, and uh, we think they will see how the outcome of this event is, but they may need to seriously rethink the way in which they site nuclear power plants and the way in which they uh, um, institute emergency planning procedures.